We're so close. We're like almost to the finish line of getting knocked up. Well, and Shane yes. kind of on the phone call was like, well, I guess we'll just do a boy of each. I don't know, do we reveal the second name? Who cares? This okay. is so exciting. So you guys are like on the journey with us. Today is actually our embryo transfer day. Everything's been leading up to this day and it's finally here. I couldn't sleep because I was so excited. Hello everybody, it, <laughs> it's the best day ever! Oh my gosh, look at my babies! <sighs> so today we had a very exciting meeting with our fertility doctor and we're so close. We're like almost to the finish line of getting knocked up. You guys, chill out. I'm so excited. Um, so we had our meeting with our doctor today to choose which of our 12 embryos will be implanted inside of our surrogate. Okay. From what we can see on our end, there isn't like uh, testing for the embryos of saying like which one is the ultimate to put inside. The what? ultimate? I mean, they. so to my surprise- It's not the Olympics. The uh, embryos are ranked inside of being usable. So there's like AA, AB, you know. And so the Let's guy- get to Okay, it. the doctor was going through and he was like, oh, it doesn't look like Ryan has any like females that are AA. And so both- oh. <laughs> What? Okay, you go for it. No, 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 you keep on it. Okay, yeah, no, no, you, you. I'm just excited. We went into this thinking we were gonna do a girl of mine and a boy of Shane's. And when he was going through, he was like, well, the most optimal for pregnancy on both of your ends are boys. You have two AAs on each side. And Shane was like, well, wait, why don't we just do two boys then? I know, it was weird. Okay, so many things in the universe that made this happen. Number one, for a random reason, I turned on Full House the other night and they have two boys, Nikki and Alex. And I was like, oh my God, why is this so cute? Like, why does two boys make sense? Like, wait, are we gonna have two boys? Like, it was a weird thought in my head. Totally forgot about it. And then last night I was like, so we're still going with a boy and a girl? Or what if they say that that's not possible? And we just like, haven't really fully talked about it because we're like, we're gonna know in the moment. And then in the moment, it was like, boom, it hit me. And then I looked at you and you were just like, Well, and Shane yes. kind of on the phone call was like, well, I guess we'll just do a boy of each, like without consulting really no, with me. I looked at you like, is that? I was just like, oh yeah, that makes sense. It just makes sense because number one, they're not gonna be identical because there's two different dads, but wow, drama. No, <laughs> sorry, just like, two different baby daddies, but. <laughs> <laughs> but also, they're gonna be so different. I'm s we're so polar opposites. So like, and they'll have each other. And in a few years down the line, we can have a girl or two girls and they'll be the older brother of the girl. Like it just all felt right. But then he's like, well, is the surrogate okay with that? And we're like, I, we think so. Cause she's had twins before. We haven't- like Well, and our, like what we came to terms with, with her was implanting too. But since we've been talking to her, we haven't really like brought up like, oh, like are you super okay with implanting too? Because obviously like carrying twins is a big thing to yeah. do. And we texted her and without any hesitation, she was just like, yeah, I'm totally fine with implanting too. Okay, but here's the craziest part. Get ready for this. Okay, first of all, I don't think we really expressed, or I guess we did, cause I'm having a full on hyper excited panic attack. Um, or what's the opposite of a panic attack? A fun attack! Ooh, that sounds better. <laughs> I'm having a fun attack, but yes, two boys. That is, well, here's the thing. We're manifesting, we believe in God, the universe. It's all gonna happen the way it's supposed to. If something happens, cause there is a chance of both not, just like in a normal yeah, pregnancy. Two could take, one could take. Exactly. The surrogate was like, well, there's also the chance that they'll split and you'll have four babies. And I was like, Ugh. <laughs> And I was like, splitting? An embryo splitting? And she goes, well, that's what identical twins are. Yeah. And I had no idea that that's how that happened. So there's a chance of anything happening. We're gonna be so excited with any outcome that is a healthy child, whether that's one or, you know what I'm saying? So we're sitting there and the doctor's like, well, confirm with the surrogate before I, you know, take out the embryos and defrost them. And we're like, okay. So then our implantation day is one week from today, which is April 18th. Yes. It's Tuesday the 11th as we're recording. Yes. So then I was like, okay, so I texted her, me, me and him texted her. In our baby group chat. And we're just like, hey, like, what about twins? Like tee -hee. <laughs> um, you know, but also if you don't want to do that, totally get it, it's okay. And then I'm on my way to the bathroom. And I know you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but let me take you through my journey. 
Okay, we were sitting right here on the couch speaking to the doctor on speakerphone and we're like, okay, well, we'll just check with the surrogate and we'll email you later tonight to confirm. And we hang up with the doctor and... And I stand up, I press send and I'm like, God, I don't wanna ask for her to say yes to this, but like whatever happens is meant to happen. But you know, whatever. So I go to pee and I'm walking to go pee. And first I see this, these two bottle of tequilas that are twins, but one is kind of different than the other, which is weird, right? Because like, we're gonna have twins, but they're a little different than the other. So then I'm like, that was weird, but maybe I'm just imagining it. Walking, walking, walking. And then I see over under the security cameras, these two pigs. Now, ignore the fact that they're kissing. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if that's the best example well, no. to show. But trust me, this is going somewhere, I promise. So I see those two pigs and I'm like, weird. Okay, they're kissing, that's weird. But two pigs that are twins, weird. Then I look right above them and boom, on the security cameras, the pool in two different cameras, like twins. And I'm like, okay, now this is getting crazy. So then I go pee. So then after I go pee, I come out here to Ryland and I'm like, okay, I have to tell you this weird universe thing. And then boom, she texts. And she's like, yeah, I'm great with twins. Let's do it. And I was just like, oh my God, the universe. And then I said around, I'm like, I took him through my journey and I'm like, and then I saw this and then I saw this. And then I look at the TV stand and in my head, I'm thinking, well, I don't want to tell him about the pigs because they're kissing and that's weird. So I guess I just won't tell him that part. And then I look at the TV stand and look what's on the other side. Twin dolphins. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And I told Rylan, I'm like, and then I saw the twin dolphins. But in my head, I'm like, oh, I really saw the kissing pigs. And then Rylan goes, look, there's also twin pigs. And I'm like, I know I saw those too, but I felt weird because they were kissing. It was a whole thing. And then, ding dong, a package arrives. I got Rylan an Easter present that was late. And it came two days late. He opens up the package, right? Hold on. And it was our baby's first onesie, which is so cute. And it's for a boy, because for some reason, I was looking at boy and girl stuff and it just felt wrong. The girl, I was like, I think it's gonna be a boy. I don't know why, I just feel it, it's weird. So I got this, right? So I give it to him and I'm like, oh, it's a sign. But then in my head, I'm like, but there's only one. So then, I did not know this, I bought a pair. So there was two. For boys. For boys. Which is so crazy because up until this morning, we thought we were doing a boy girl. And the first thing he purchased was for two boys. I know. And then um, some of my other presents came. So I got a lot of onesies actually. <laughs> but those came a few hours later. But those are also for boys. There's just a lot going on. And we figured out the names. Ah! Okay, hold on. I wanted to show you a little bit of what he got. He had gotten a Ralph Lauren little onesie. It comes with a cute bib and a beanie. He got me a cute white hat that like matches with their first set, a little blanket, and oh, I'm so obsessed with the baby shoes. Burberry baby shoes. Oh, and then, guess what else came today? So we were talking about, you know, in, I think in the previous vlog, we talked about the baby's nursery and like my vibe. And I was like, oh, I want like Toy Story clouds like on the walls of the nursery. And then look what came today, my clouds cup. It's a sign. This is going in the nursery bit. And we figured out where the nursery is going to be. <laughs> There's so much going on. You need to calm me down. Okay. Well, you're getting way ahead of yourself. I don't know. Do we reveal the second name? Yes. For the twin? Okay. So also before we decided on two boys, we came up with one other name we liked that just Who's so here? happened. Who's here? It's Orkin. So we had come up with one other boy name before we decided on two boys that we were like super jazzed on and we were going back and forth. Like, okay, is the boy gonna be named Jet? Which is what we were talking about previously, which now I'm also saying is gonna be Jetson on the birth certificate, but everyone's gonna call him Chet. Yeah. So now that we have two boys, are we really gonna reveal like so much in one video? Who cares? This okay. is so exciting. So you guys this, are like on the journey with us. The second. Well, should we go to the nursery? Okay, so yes. If we're living at this house, we also decided what the layout of this house will be because there are two bedrooms that have like a Jack and Jill bathroom. Which we're not opposed to raising the kids in Colorado, by the way. It's just, we're gonna be having babies at peak crazy winter in January. That's intense. So I think we're gonna at least raise the babies for the first few months here and then figure it out. Right. Side note. And then yeah, sorry, you, you go. Okay, so we were thinking that this beauty room will actually be transformed into the nursery to start because it's just like centrally located. It can be really dark with that blackout blind, but it's also bright for if we just wanna have like people over to visit the babies and hang out in here a lot. Once they move to this room, we can sleep in the like conjoined room. And then once they're a little bit older, they'll have like these two bedrooms that have this Jack and Jill bathroom. So the twin boys will share like this room, the bathroom, 
and another room. What I will say though is I'm also not opposed to having the boys share a room for a few years because like I love sharing a room with my brother. I love bunk beds, like so many memories of like staying up late and watching TV and like, oh, I hope dad isn't here. So like that also is something that we want to do too. But when we have four kids, oh, <laughs> look at it. Our first nursery decoration, the cup. So <laughs> cute. We used to get little hangers for the little clothes. Okay, oh, we haven't said the name yet. <laughs> I don't know about the dead pig in between us. Okay, hold on. <laughs> well, okay, so obviously you guys know one of the babies is Jet, short for Jetson. And then yesterday, or no, on Easter, we were driving to my mom's house and out of nowhere, I was like, oh my God, I think I know our kid's name. And you were like, what? And I was like, I don't know, it just came to me. I think we're gonna have a son named Max. And then he was said the same thing. He's like, yes. I go, I was at a like, coffee shop this morning and the barista was named Max and had a name tag. And I looked at the name tag and I was like, wow, I love that name. And literally three hours later, he said, I think we should name a boy Max. And I was like. Yeah, so Max and Jetson. Jetson Adams, yeah. Max Adams, yeah. And I like that like their names in short are like Max and Jet. Both three letters, like, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's the other thing. I guess Max is short for something, and I looked it up. Max is short for some crazy names. Maximilian, Maximus, Maxwell. So I don't know what the long version will be. Maybe we'll make one up. <laughs> or we can just <laughs> because keep Because there's so Max. many. Just oh my gosh. Max. Oh my God. Tell me that's not a sign. The two twin pigs. Another twin Are sex. you serious? <laughs> this is crazy. You guys. It really is wild. I know you guys are good. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. Come on. What? This is nuts. This is nuts. Now, listen, once again, I don't want to jinx it. If something happens unfortunate, it'll be devastating. But, you know, we're going to be so grateful to have a child. So I don't, I want to put that energy out there too because. I also do think like implanting two embryos gives it like a universal element. Like if one takes and the other doesn't, that's like what was meant to be for us. I mean, we're definitely like praying for two and we're like- The weird thing though is if one takes and one doesn't, it's so weird to talk about this, but I guess we should because this is what it is, right? Science has evolved so much. It used to be they would put like three in because only one would take. Sometimes in rare cases there would be, you know, triplets, but for the most part, because of science and where it was, you know, 20 years ago, they would implant more embryos and hope for just one. Now he's like, you know, what we implant, we're pretty sure we'll get unless something happens. So like if you do twins, you might get twins. And then I said, well, what happens if worst case scenario, one of them doesn't work? And he's like, well, you won't know the biological father of the surviving. One. I mean, you, you could do genetic know. testing and obviously I feel like You'll, you it, maybe could tell from I've, our faces. I feel like we'll be able to know. I mean, but, I e but even that I didn't hate. I was like, you know, if that does happen, God forbid that happens. That is interesting. It's like, you know, we have this son and we won't know which one. And it doesn't really even matter. No, it doesn't really matter. And that's another thing. Like if we only get one baby implanting two, it's like, that's what was meant to be. You know, I, I really believe that like we've done what we can and the rest is up to what will be. We have so much to do. We have to turn this into a nursery. We have to get cute little hangers and a cute little clothing rack. We have to get uh, custom blankets with Max and Jet on it. <laughs> I've already bought Max. We've already started today. Like, what do we actually need to have product-wise before the baby arrives for like the everyday, just like care of an infant? We need to start getting the dogs around some children. Mm -hmm. I'm making sure it's okay. Obviously, like, you know, not like a rep baby. You know what I mean? Like the dogs need to meet some kids and, and like, go to the park more. We need to like just get everything ready. This is happening. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? Why am I not nervous? I feel like I'm such a nervous person. I'm not nervous at all. No, I'm, I'm, so excited. I'm excited. Yeah, I, I'm not nervous and maybe that will change like once we get closer, but right now I'm just very excited and uh, next week we'll meet our surrogate, the implantation will happen and I just like, oh my gosh, it finally is starting to feel real. Wow. Wow. Crazy. Okay, well, I guess we'll check back in when we have an update of sorts. We need to go crib shopping. Mm, we gotta make a mood board for this room. All right, well, I guess we'll get started. Oh my gosh, Louis is checking out the baby clothes. You love it, Louis? Of course, Cheeto had to inspect the new clothing as well, and it is Cheeto 
approved. Tina, do you approve? Are you excited to be here? <laughs> oh my god. Look at Louie. Louie's like, huh? Okay, so it's a couple days later and Shane has already made quite a few more purchases. I swear like every time he walks into this house, he's like, guess what else came? I know, I'm gonna stop. That's a lie. <laughs> I already like online shop last night at 3 in the morning. I, but I can't stop because it's so cute and then there's the blankets. Oh my god, blanket reveal? Or are, are we waiting? We'll do that on our way out since we've kind of organized the stuff that you already got. But I was talking to somebody who has like all of her friends are now moms and she said the least important thing that you really need are the clothes because like you just gather so many. Whereas like the essentials that are on like the actual baby infant lists are the things that you need. Well, lucky for you. I'm a prepared daddy. I have a list. Okay, so these are the uh, equipment must-haves, the furniture must-haves, the clothing must-haves, the equipment nice to have, the furniture nice to have, and the clothing nice to have. And then my list in my head of everything we need. <laughs> And as we watch videos, as I talk to other people that are parents, I also have like a running list in my phone of like recommended brands that come up or products or things. It says we need a variety of nipples. I have both. I have <laughs> <laughs> both my nipples do not match. Is that what they mean? A variety of nipples. Oh, for the bottles. Diapers, we already have those. A car window. Oh, we don't have those. We have a box of 12. A breast pump. Okay, I know we, it's not something we need, but it's something I want to try. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so we're going out to Malibu. We're gonna go check out all the different like baby boutiques in the area and just like start to get excited, start to shop and get things that are kind of necessary and also just kind of fun. Okay, are we doing a blanket reveal or not? They're waiting. Yes, I mean, you've ordered another. Wait. But yes. Okay. Okay, so obviously I've laid out everything we have. And I've also hung up what I'm calling the hero outfit. This is like the one, this is like the cutest. So everything needs to match this vibe. Over here you can see I have our first diaper bag. This is rated the most popular, most useful diaper bag of 2023. So and I bought one. We do use like their bathroom travel bags and I love those. So I can only imagine what they have for babies. As you can see the clothes all laid out, ready to be hung. Oh my gosh. I literally almost died when I saw these because I know like people make fun of these, but they're my favorite. I love them. Little baby golden goose sneakers. Are you kidding me? And the then, cutest thing I've ever seen. And then look at the little, the, the little Winnie the Pooh onesie. Oh, the animals are fighting. They're so jealous. <laughs> Don't worry, you guys will always be our babies. Except not really. These are our real babies! Little wow. Winnie the Pooh onesie. <laughs> oh, bother. Okay, and then the blanket. So Jet's blanket is on the way. But look at Max's blanket, and it says this is a little Winnie the Pooh. Don't you dare, Riley. And then it says Winnie the Pooh and your bees, and then his name. Wow, it is so cute. Shane's already predicting the personalities of each of the babies. So he's like, oh, I got this outfit for Jet, this outfit for Max. But I'm willing to, I'm, I'm open for change. I'm not gonna be one of those dads who's forcing my kid to do things. But my intuition, my mommy intuition, is telling me that Max is gonna be artsy and Jet is gonna be surfy. And that's just what I'm thinking. So that's the vibe. He did also get this cute bear. Oh, and the giraffe. The little draft that holds blankets. That is so cute. That's like the first item for the nursery for like the design of the room. And then this is something we're not gonna tell anybody we got, except for right now, because I'm showing you. I got a Burberry bib. Oh. <laughs> and I only got it because I wanted to call it a Burberry. Listen, it was expensive. <laughs> It was, but it wasn't, it wasn't crazy. It was, it's very stupid. This is stupid. This is not a need. This is not even a must. This is a, we should return this. <laughs> but we will get a lot of use out of this. I was FaceTiming my mom and showing her the baby clothes and she was, is that a Burberry bib? Yes, but it's high quality, feels good. It's catching the food. Listen, could we have bought like a few tubs of diapers? Probably. But is this gonna be something we keep forever and ever and ever? We should frame it. Oh. We are gonna be those people with like a museum of our baby stuff that our baby has grown out of just because we think it's so adorable and cute. <sighs> Let's, Let's go. go. All right. I don't know exactly what's in here, but I guess we're just gonna find out. Barefoot dreams. My bare feet are a nightmare. <laughs> Dad joke. Oh my gosh, they have dog beds. It's so different shopping in real life. Shopping online, it's like not real. Shopping in real life, you're like, oh my God, this is crazy. Oh my 
my gosh, it is a huge day for us because today is actually our embryo transfer day. Our surrogate is in town. We're gonna get her, go to breakfast, and then go to the clinic with her. We're literally like right on time though, so we've gotta go right this second. Okay, I had dreams all night last night. I was watching kid movies last night. I do not watch kid movies. I'm not a kid movie person. I watched Shrek last night, and then last night all I kept thinking was, oh my God, when we have a kid, they're gonna watch Shrek. <laughs> and this is so cute, and I was just so excited. And I had dreams all night about this, and it went really well in my dreams, which is good, because usually my dreams are really bad. Usually bad things happen after I have bad dreams. I had good dreams, so good things are gonna happen. We are manifesting, thank you God. We're gonna have two babies. Okay, I only go. I only woke up once, like kind of freaking out, like, oh my gosh, ah! like, ah! But then I woke up at like 6 a.m. and I just sat in bed, turning with excitement. Almost like Christmas morning excitement when you're a kid, just like, oh my gosh, everything's been leading up to this day and it's finally here. I couldn't sleep because I was so excited. <laughs> okay. We have got to get out of here. She is about an hour away from us, so let's go. Okay, so we're in the lobby. We picked her up, we had lunch, we hung out. We love her so much. I can't believe it's like half an hour, 15 minutes. Yeah, so I think we're gonna go back there and we're gonna get to see the whole process. I don't know if we're gonna film anything. This that feels just weird to do that, but maybe, I don't know. But yeah, I think we're gonna see the embryos and we're gonna see what they look like, which is crazy. And um, yeah, we haven't talked about filming or anything. She's said in her file that she's comfortable if we ever film her, but we just want to get her to know her off camera, obviously. But we really like her a lot and we're excited. So we didn't even talk about the whole everything, right? I, I think the day was just like so amazing and incredible that by the time both of us got home, we were just like drained and wanted to like, like drained in the best way, but just wanted to like sit in all of it. But yeah, we went and we picked her up from her hotel, like best case scenario. We both immediately like felt connected and were like, oh, this was like the perfect fit for us, yeah. we went to breakfast. Which is big for me, I don't do that. <laughs> Food when I wake up, are you serious? And he ate too, I was like, Shane, just suck it up and get a latte or something, and, and you ate. I did. She's very willing to be a part of vlogs, and she was like, I know this is what you guys do, but we don't we don't know if that's weird, so we're kind of in a weird place with that. I'm sure as we get closer, you'll at least meet her or see her. Yeah. I'm sure you'll see pictures or something at some yeah. point. But she reminds me so much of like somebody I would have been friends with in high school. Like we just instantly clicked. Mm -hmm. Same sense of humor. So soft spoken and sweet and funny and like has a 10 year old girl herself. So she was giving us all these advice and parenting tips and I don't know, just like perfect best case scenario. And then the transfer obviously happened. And then we went back to our hotel room after got food again and just hung out for the rest of the day. And it was just like so incredible. Right after the procedure happened, the doctor said in terms of like visibility and placement, it was like textbook perfect, this procedure. That was so crazy too. Cause I don't know if we filmed any of this, but well, I think I've I filmed the FaceTime just for us, but I because, guess we can show some of it, but. Well, the reason we weren't together in the room is because they said it was too small of a room and there were three of the doctors and the assistants plus our surrogate. So Shane told me to go in, so I FaceTimed Shane the whole time and that's why we have the recording, which honestly, thank God, because now we do have that recording for us to look back on. Yeah, and that was, the best moment of my life, I would say, because it was like, I can't explain it, but it was like a movie. Like on the screen, they put up our embryos and they show them next to each other. And then they put them in her and like, it felt like a movie. And I was just crying in the hallway on FaceTime. <laughs> it was so crazy and weird. The whole thing was insane. And I just knew like the second it happened, I was like, those are our boys, it's happening. And then we have to get frames because they gave us Pictures. So these are when they took them out of the freezer the morning of, uh, as they defrosted, as they were, as they, I mean, that's literally what it is. So this is them, they weren't this smush when they were put in. That's what he's literally, the nurse was like, smush? I, I don't know the terminology, but you know what I mean? He was like, they weren't like this by the time they went in. But we have those pictures and what's so crazy is it looked like a movie set in there. Like the lights and the temperature. I just felt like I was inside of a Ryan Murphy show, which is like insane. Wow, what are we gonna do? We're literally gonna have babies. What are we gonna do? 